Hi everyone, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we are going to do a Reco Ring with a back scratcher. I got this from the dollar store. And also I'm gonna use a color combination I used earlier today on a Patreon live video that I did. So I do have a little bit of leftover paint in my cup here. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep using it. All of my paints are mixed with Floetrol and water. And I'm using white, pink, and gold basically. So I'm going to put some red in here because white and red do make pink. And that will give me a bit of a darker pink. The gold I'm using is Deco Art Extreme Sheen. And it is very sparkly gold. The white and the red are Artist Loft Flow Acrylics. And then I'm using some Arteza paints. This is um, like a the iridescent electric plum purple. It's pretty pink and then this is a pink that I have no idea what is in it so I can't really tell you on that one I am going to use a little bit of this fancy black just to have a little bit more contrast let's go in here with some more red I'm trying not to use too much of that gold uh, because it does tend to sell pretty well. Okay, that's probably more than enough. I may not end up using, using all this. So what I'm going to do is just a tree ring here in the middle. Hoping to get some of this stuff on the bottom. There we go. Nice. I love this color combo. Look at that. Okay. So with a record ring, I normally take a stick and swipe, but for this, we're going to go ahead and pull this through. I'm trying not to do it too organized. I think I'll do one more this way. And I think that's good. I'm gonna leave it. So go ahead and tilt. That looks really awesome already. I do love, love, love this gold. And for people who have difficulty getting cells, I'll show you the bottle in just a second, but this gold, the Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold is one of the paints that I've noticed that like causes cells on its own course without any silicone or anything and do not forget to check down in the description for all the materials used okay there we go I like it definitely wild and funky due to having many more lines in it it's been wrecked a lot more than I usually would I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit. We'll see if anything else develops and then we'll go in for our close-up. Okay, I'm back. So luckily, not too many cells appearing. I use that gold pretty sparingly. Um, I feel like I may have wrecked it one too many times. <laughs> um, let me know what you think down in the comments, but I do like it. Let's go ahead and do our close-up. All right, starting in the right hand corner so you can see that's a very very sparkly gold and then coming up I do like how this part the wreck looks on this part I think the edges came out super cool and this is definitely not my usual color scheme as you guys know I'm definitely a blues person um, but yeah, I think it came out pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I think I might try this one more time with one less wreck. Also, I think this could be a really cool way to make some peacock feathers. Maybe if we wrecked it twice like this way. 
So I might try that with some peacock colors on another video. But, you know, just tell me your opinions and I will see you all next time.